everyone, so I was recently requested to do a what to carry in your school beauty bag, which immediately took me back to when I was in high school, and I always wanted to carry just a little bag with some beauty essentials in it because A, I didn't want to lug my entire makeup collection to school with me, and then B, you actually don't have that much time, at least at my school you didn't, and friends that I have that went to different schools and I would talk to them about it, you don't have that long in between classes to actually like touch up your makeup, so what I would do is I would actually go after lunch and I would go to the bathroom, and I feel like every single girl coming out of the lunchroom we would all go to the bathroom and like huddle around the mirror and touch up our makeup and stuff so I wanted to do a video showing you the essentials that you should make sure to have in your beauty bag but also a couple other things that are easy for people to forget to kind of throw in your bag but it makes life a lot simpler and it's good to kind of have with you and remember to have with you and sometimes when you have someone remind you to carry those in your bag you remember it and you're like oh that would be a good thing to put in my bag so that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys and I'm excited to show you that but before I get started, I actually wanted to show you guys my new laptop. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. And I felt like this kind of went with the video because it's like school and you do your laptop, you use it to do your homework and stuff. So I thought this was good. But if you guys have been following my tweets for about the past four months, I have been tweeting about my laptop. My computer was breaking. It was inevitable that it was going to happen very soon. And it finally kicked the bucket and I got a new laptop. And it's this Sony Vio and it's pink, you guys. You know how I feel about pink and it's not only pink it's the perfect color to match my bedroom like it's that perfect kind of shade it's not exactly hot hot pink it's I mean it's perfect for my bedroom so I am absolutely in love with this it's funny because I haven't used a PC in so long having windows I was kind of worried about how I was going to get back in the swing of things and how long it was gonna take me to be able to like zoom through my computer and stuff and it actually didn't take me that long at all Windows 7 was actually made to make everything that people do on their computer like in their everyday life it was made to make that simpler so they took into account everything that everybody like does on their computer every day and then they made that all easier and it's really fun to kind of play around with and stuff so if you guys are on the lookout for a new computer if you're kind of like doing that there's so many colors and styles and price ranges and there's going to be a Windows laptop out there for you so I'm absolutely in love with mine I also feel fashionable carrying it around it's like it's my everything companion like it's gonna do everything with me I'm gonna take it everywhere I go and I can't wait I really just want to go to a coffee shop and like sit down with this computer because it's so cute and it's like I don't know it's like fashion they have all different colors and stuff so I wanted to show you guys because I know that with back to school starting and stuff a lot of you may be on the hunt for a laptop or something definitely check this one out so now let's get into what you need in your school beauty bag. This is actually a bag from shopglitzyglam.com, which is my sister Ellen Mine's web store. And it is the Small Terry uh, makeup bag. And this one is in black with a silver B and curls. Love this B for Blair, obviously. Um, you can get any letter you want on it. We have tons of different colors. These are $10 online. The inside is washable, which is really nice. Whenever you have, you know, anything, get on it or something. There's a little pocket inside. Um, you can get your letter in curl or vine. And just so you guys know, we're having a 15% off everything on the site right now for back to school just to kind of get everybody excited and stuff. So all that info will be in the bottom bar below. There's a little coupon code in case you guys want to go on there and stuff 15% off your entire order. So I'm going to get started first with the things that most people typically remember to have in their beauty bag. It's kind of common sense, I guess. Uh, but the first one is oil absorbing sheets. My favorite ones are clean and clear. I have oily skin, so these are something that totally helped me get through high school days I use at least one of these every single day after lunch and I still use them all the time I feel like I use them more now than I did in high school but I absolutely love them and basically you just take it out you kind of pat it wherever you're getting oily and it absorbs all the oil and then you want to go in with a powder now also if you want to use a concealer this is my Neutrogena healthy skin concealer and it looks like this this is actually one that's for underneath your eyes but call me crazy I find that it works no matter where I need to use it like I use it sometimes under my eyes and then I'll pat it around my nose and on any blemishes I have it comes with a little brush already so I just twist the bottom and then I put it on my finger and pat it onto my um, skin and stuff just because I don't want to put this actual brush if I have any like active acne or anything so after you blot your face off that's when I would say to use a um, concealer if you need to kind of touch up any areas and then you want to use a setting powder so the one that I've been using lately Lately is the Peter Thomas Roth one and it comes like this it comes with a built-in brush so I like this because you don't have to carry an extra brush with you you guys might recognize this from my haul video I put up a little while ago but basically it's like this and you just twist it at the bottom and the powder comes out the top and then you just kind of dust it on your face 
and again comes with a brush now I always find that the number one thing I like to touch up if I could only touch up one thing it wouldn't be lips it would be cheeks I know a lot of people say it would be lips for me definitely cheeks so this is max peach twist and it looks like this I love this blush and I find that no matter what my eyeshadow and lips are for the day this is kind of just an all-over neutral it gives me a really pretty kind of sheen on my cheeks and stuff and then a MAC 168 br uh, blush brush just any kind of brush you want to throw in there now getting into eyeliners I always either wear black brown or white liner now sometimes I'll do something crazy like blue or purple but for the majority these are the ones I wear so I have a brown teddy eye coal by MAC I have a black Mali eyeliner, and what is this exact shade? Midnight, perfect. And then I have my white pearl NYX um, eyeliner pencil. So I have these, if I'm going to use a funky color, I can remember to throw it in my makeup bag, but just for every day. I know how hectic mornings are when you're trying to get ready and get you know to school and stuff, so I didn't wanna think, oh, what eyeliner did I wear today? What do I need to put in my beauty bag? All the items I have in my beauty bag are, are not things that I need to get ready in the morning. This bag would always stay in my purse or my tote bag for school and I would just have it there. I find that when you kind of start going back and forth and mixing them, it just gets a little bit too hectic in the morning. So anything that you pretty much wear on an everyday basis, I would say to keep in this bag if it's something that you would touch up. Okay. Now, lipsticks, just like lip liners, I have three lipsticks. I have a coral lipstick because I love wearing coral. So this is a MAC lipstick, and this is in Beach Bound. This was limited edition. I still love it. Any coral lipstick, if you never wear coral lipstick, obviously you don't have to throw that in. And then I have MAC's Blankety, which is just kind of a nude lipstick. And then the last one is actually my favorite kind of lipsticks if you have, um, if you're throwing them in your bag or your purse. Or These are the MAC Lip Clicks, and I like them. This is my pink shade. So I have a coral, a nude, and pink I like this because this is actually a magnetic closure so the top isn't going to fall off in your bag and get your makeup bag all messy and stuff so I like that and then the last thing I have is a lip gloss and this is my ultra flesh lip gloss from Sephora again you might recognize it from my Sephora haul video I find that you just need one lip gloss in your bag because the lipstick is actually what gives you the color and then the gloss is just gonna give you a sheen so now I have a few other things let me make sure yeah so those were all the things that most people you know those are just makeup items you can use to to touch up other things you need to have in your beauty bag I find a small thing of perfume this is my small little travel size Balenciaga perfume any perfume that you want to wear if you can just find a small little thing especially around Christmas time they package them as like stocking stuffers at places like Sephora and lots of different places they have like the small itty bitty ones stock up on those and throw them in your beauty bag as soon as you know you use it up you can throw the next scent in next thing I have is actually a tampon holder now this is from shop glitzy glam as well and it holds two tampons in there we also have single tampon holders and pad holders always a girl's best friend to have with her because you never know when it's gonna sneak up on you and if you're in the middle of school definitely something you need to remember to have with you and then I have a little baby mini hairbrush this is again I'm not trying to like promote shop glitzy glam right now I know it may seem like that but this really is what I would keep in my bag um totally not but this is my B hairbrush I think it's super cute this is a black one with a pink um, polka dots on it so I think that's cute and then the other things I always keep a $5 bill or some sort of cash because a lot of times I remember I used to always forget lunch money because the way my school worked is you could like have your lunch money in your account and you could just keep it in there and as you ran out they would tell you but my lunch lady would always tell me like as I was out she'd be like oh you need three dollars to pay for your lunch today and I'd be like oh about that so sometimes I would have it in my wallet but sometimes I wouldn't have cash with me so I always have an emergency backup and don't use this in the vending machine every day this is like your legit emergency 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 like you're not gonna eat lunch if you don't have cash type of backup thing uh, mints and gum that's definitely a beauty item because your mouth is like pretty I don't know I feel like having good breath and stuff like that after lunch and stuff always pop either a mint or a piece of gum in your mouth and then um, second to last thing I have is a hair bow with some bobby pins and I, I cannot pick it up but I just tied a hair bow around some bobby pins because obviously if you need to throw your hair up in the day or if you want to pin it back with some bobby pins and then the last thing I like to keep is some sort of bar with me I eat bars all the time this is actually my current favorite one it's a power crunch protein energy bar and this one is in uh, peanut butter I think yeah this is peanut butter cream it's a wafer bar you guys know how I feel about wafers considering Kit Kat are like my favorite food in the entire world and those are just like chocolate wafers this is how I get kind of like my Kit Kat-y 
feel without actually having Kit Kats. Um, so definitely like this. This is one that just gives me a lot of energy, um, hence why it's called an energy bar. So that is what I would recommend to keep in your beauty bag. If you guys have any extra recommendations, make sure to either leave them in the comments below so that other people can like go through and read them, or you can film a video showing me what you have in your school beauty bag and leave it as a video response because I would love to watch it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.